Hey guys, why are you? David here. It is December 12th, 2008, and I recently downloaded PlayStation Home. It's a long anticipated social networking, kind of like a virtual world to live in and interact in. Kind of like Second Life, but it seems to be much more sophisticated and much more fun because I used to play Second Life and I never really got what the whole big deal is. But this video is to give you kind of like a first look of what Home is about. Keep in mind, this is my first night literally playing it for like a half hour, maybe not even. So I may be as lost as you. So yeah, enjoy. Okay, so I believe this is called the Harbor Studio. This is kind of like your main home where you can buy furniture, move furniture, even use furniture. For instance, if I press X on the Harbor Studio armchair, I get some options to sit on it, move it, remove, or do the about, and if I do sit, it's basically a simple command like that, that's it. And, and, and as you can probably see from the graphics, it's a very nice looking environment. The lighting is fantastic. You can probably tell that I'm down the shore, hence the water, the sun, the boats. It really is a beautiful place that they put you in. The X, they obviously did a great job with the graphics. The animation's kind of weird, like if you turn around quickly, it looks like they did it in like three frames. I kind of wish they would do it in a more subtle way, but you can't have everything. This is definitely a lot better looking than Second Life. And yeah, my room is obviously pretty empty right now because I just started playing, as I already mentioned. So it's kind of boring right now. But if you press start, you can have your menu. Um, show up on the screen. Here's a personal. Go to wardrobe where you can customize your character. And I'll show you the insane detail. I got a character. I'll go to my face. Look at that detail on the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the shading, the lighting. Sony did an excellent job on this and it just it just looks great. And it's very, very customizable. You can change your faces, um, and your face structure, your body shape. So if I want to be really fat, I can, <laughs> as you can see. And it's really cool because this is my second time in the wardrobe. So I guess if I've been playing the game for like a month or so, I can, I um, guess I can always go back in here and change options later down the road, which is really cool. And then save it. You can save it on your hard drive. Slot A. If I want to overwrite, say yes. And press circle on the back, uh, and then X to exit. I'm pressing start again, you can also look at your locations, world map, your favorites. I don't have any favorites yet. Own spaces. The only space I own right now is the Harbor Studio. But I believe that you can purchase more spaces, maybe. Um, that may be real money or credits you earn in the game. I'm not really sure yet. It's your friends list. Um, I have to accept a bunch of friends um, invites clubs. I s tried to create a club, but it seems it costs five dollars, like five real dollars. Which I think is kind of disappointing, but I guess that's Sony's business strategy. I mean, their uh, model for this whole home thing. It's kind of like a virtual my sp uh, Facebook. But, yeah, it is It is really cool. Um, here, I will go to the... Sorry, that's my iPhone in the background. Twitter. I will go to, let me see, locations, world map, and I've already downloaded the Uncharted, what is this? Oh, Sully's Bar, I believe. Yes, this is my first time going here. Very nice. The player's models don't load right away, which is kind of disappointing. But again, this is a very detailed world, so they um, have to ask me drawbacks here and there. And if anybody's ever played the game Uncharted for PS3, seriously, check it out if you have not played it. It's fantastic. Okay, and if you press triangle, you can bring up your selection, I um, mean your uh, keyboard, the type. I'll just say hey to these people around me. And now all these people around me should see that message. And if you get near somebody with uh, voice chat, you can hear their uh, voice chat coming out. And here's, here's real-time games, which is pretty cool. Although the only thing I don't like about this 
is if I have if is if I want to play it, I had to download it first. I kind of wish it was preloaded onto the hard drive. But again, you can't have everything. I don't even know what this is. Door keypad. I don't even know what that is. If I had to get a special code or what. Oh, here we go. Okay. The mall. Central Plaza. Bowling Alley. There it is. And it's cool. You can jump from place to place instead of having to run everywhere. But I don't think you can run anywhere. I mean, from... For instance, the bar to the bowling alley. Which is fine by me, because this is much faster. Okay, so here I am at the bowling alley. This is actually really cool. I have not played a game of bowling because it was occupied before. For instance, if I press A over here where it says bowling, I mean A, X, sorry, I'm used to the X1268. It says game is occupied in the gray. You can barely read it on the camera, but it does say that. And if you go over here, there's a mini arcade, which is really cool. If I wanted to play, for instance, Icebreaker, I would play it. But it would have to download first. And I guess this game's not as large as the first one. So this should load fairly quickly. As I wait, I'll drink my Mountain Dew. So far, I have to say that I'm very impressed by everything I've seen. Sony definitely did their homework. I right, press X to continue. This is a mini game. It's, oh, okay. It's kind of like Breakout. Okay, so. Press start to exit if you want. Exit arcade game. And I'm back in the regular arcade. Now, I did play a game of pool against somebody, which was really cool. The physics were great. The graphics were great. And it's real time. All, all these games happen in real time. I mean, I could actually stop what I'm doing and play a game of pool for 10 minutes or so. It's really, really cool. There is so much I have yet to even do in home, so this is a very rough preview. Oh, and as you can see, I just I just saw this for the first time. It looks like a preview of Little Big Planet, which I've yet to play, but I think I'm getting it for Christmas. I kind of wish loading times were a bit quicker, but I believe this is loading it off real time from the internet because they have a WWW logo in the top right when things are loading, um, as well as an HDD, which stands for hard disk drive. The water reflections are beautiful. I don't know what these things are floating around the sky. I really don't know what they are. Oh, that's an um, Uncharted theme playing. Oh, okay, by the bar. That makes sense. Twilight. There's obviously advertising within home to pay for costs. I'm not pretty... I mean, I'm not totally sure why that's there, but that's usually what advertising is there for. I kind of wish running was a bit quicker. Because it, it seems like he's jogging. I've yet to see a way to run faster. Real quick, if you press R1, you can get these um, emotions. Kind of like in World of Warcraft, Fantasy Star Online, all these games he played. Um, grading, I'll do a, a bow. <laughs> press R1, you can go to the screen again. Disappointment, shake fist. This should be interesting. Yes. Anger. I can press X to sit down if I want. I can just stand back up. Whoops. Stand back up. If I'm not mistaken, PlayStation Home will continue to grow over the years, which is going to be awesome. So it's kind of like a never-ending project. Sony will keep on adding and adding environments, and it, it'll it'll be really cool. So it's kind of like a living, breathing environment. Think Animal Crossing, but on steroids. And for those of you who don't know what Animal Crossing is, check it out. I love it. I'm obsessed. And hey, what's this? Theater. This is my first time seeing the theater, so this is also your first time viewing the theater as well, if you have not viewed home. So I'm learning as I go. So far as I can see, very nice. 
Sony definitely did a good job. With somebody being annoying in the voice chat. There's a lot of ghosts around us, but that's probably because... Vampire suck. They're Vampire gonna... sucks! Vampire sucks, is he saying? I'm not sure. Downloading video. Now, my prediction, my guess here is that download speeds will get faster, because a video should not take that long to Vampires download. Vampires are bad! Are you talking to me? There's a lot of people sitting down. This is really cool. It's a living, breathing world. Look at all these people. All these are real people around yeah. us. It's pretty amazing. Okay, I don't have the patience to wait for that video. So I'm just gonna leave. There's this guy trying to get it on with this girl or whatever. And embarrassing himself by horrible dance moves. What's extra? Oh, guns. <laughs> nice. And here are the dance moves. Let's do the robot. <laughs> Very nice. Salsa? Hmm. Interesting. Well, there you have it. A quick preview of PlayStation Home. It is free to download, so if you have a PS3 and you are on the PlayStation Network, definitely download it. You don't lose anything but hard drive space and your time. But as far as I can tell, my time and hard drive space are both definitely very well worth it. It definitely has a few kinks that Sony could work out. But then again, this is the first day they launched it, I believe. And they're getting hammered right now. Their, their servers are having issues as far as I know. Because their message of the day was like, Oh, we apologize for any inconveniences. The servers are slowing down and stuff like that because of high traffic. So, I do hope to see Home involved. I mean, I do hope to see Home improved in the future. Um, I don't see why not. Like I said earlier in this video, this world seems like it's going to be growing and growing as time goes on. And Sony seems to be doing an excellent job. So keep it up, Sony. I can definitely see what took us, what what like took you so long for this. So, before I ramble on even more, um, if you have any questions about home, email me at davidthefranco@gmail.com and check out my website at thecreativeone.tv. Thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you in the plaza.